Why is prayer so important? Have you ever wondered why prayer is so vital? Is it even a necessary practice? Are there any benefits aside from fulfilling an obligation or checking off something on our to-do list? In this video, we'll go over three benefits of daily prayer. I've spent most of my life thinking that prayer is something to be regulated and to do on certain moments of your day or your week, such as Sunday church, bedtimes, giving thanks for, before you eat you know, your dinner, or when something really bad goes wrong. It is so easy to get wrapped up in our own sense of pride, thinking that we've done our Christian duty of being a good Christian by you know, saying our daily prayers. But I didn't fully understand the importance of prayer and how much more important it is how much more important it is than just something to check off my list of things to do like laundry or doing the dishes. Have you ever felt this way? Prayer is one of the most amazing gifts and privileges that we have as Christians. It is a gift of God's time where we can have an actual conversation with Him anytime, anywhere, day or night. What is prayer? Simply defined, it is a conversation with God and the means by which you can develop a personal, deeper, and incredibly me meaningful relationship with God. My name is Susan Moore, and welcome to Joe Women's Ministry. I help other women strengthen their relationship with God, and it all starts with prayer. I invite you to look together with me as we discover three powerful reasons why prayer is a vital part of our Christian walk. The first benefit of praying that I would like us to look at is that prayer can set the tone for your entire day. What are your first thoughts when you're starting your day and when you're first waking up? Are you anxious about getting to your job? Are you worried about the mountains of laundry that you may have or the dishes in the sink? Are you worried that you're going to have some bad news in the bills? As soon as we get up and we start coming to our senses, we think of all the things that we need to be doing that day. But at first, a new day can bring new hope. But it is easy to get caught up in the overwhelm of those daily worries, right? So starting your day in prayer can and will get your mindset into a positive place. First of all, you start your... Here's a few tips. Start your day giving thanks to God for all that He is and all that He has blessed you with. After all, we when we wake up every day, we actually have another day to spread the gospel, to do better than we did yesterday, to show someone like our family and our neighbors how much we care for them. So every day is a new opportunity for that. Fill your mornings with thankfulness in all that you do. and. As it says in scripture, 1 Corinthians 10 31 says, so whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. You can also turn your daily challenges into your prayer prompts and call on God to help you even through those struggles. So when you go into your prayer closet or wherever you pray it, you can pray anywhere, driving to work, you can pray as you're doing dishes. But as you're praying, Anything that you're having a struggle with on that day, you can actually pray to God for that and make it a prayer prompt for your uh, journal. A great example of this is found in Philippians chapter 4, verses 5 through 7, where it says, Let your reasonableness be known to everyone. The Lord is at hand. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. So the second benefit that I would like to go into now is prayer keeps God on our minds. What would happen if we made prayer a part of our daily lives and not just one day a week for a couple of hours? God desires a real relationship with his people, and that is made clear throughout the entire Bible. In Proverbs 8, verse 17, it says, I love those who love me, and those who seek me diligently find me. 
The more you pray and seek after God, building your relationship, the more you'll notice that God is at work in all of your life. In times of trouble, you'll be filled with His peace. When you're faced with hard choices or obstacles, you'll be able to hear Him. Staying in daily prayer can help you become more filled with God's love, grace, peace, and joy, which are the fruits of the Holy Spirit. Finally, I'd like to go over how prayer and communication can build a stronger relationship with God. Who are the people in your life that you talk to on a regular basis? Is it your brother? Is it your father? Your parents? You know, your best friend? Or even your puppies and your cats? Yes, I have five little critters that I talk to on a regular basis. But how often do we talk to them? Think of that. Is it more than a few times a month? Strong relationships are built on a solid foundation of solid communication. There is no question that quality conversations are key to a better relationship. And spending time with those people. Of course, you know, your dogs and your cats can't really talk back to you. Sometimes they <laughs> act like they can. But spending time and conversating and you know, enjoying the time that you spend with your loved ones. That is very key to building that relationship with them. Here's some examples of how you can spend time with God in that way. Uh, share and celebrate blessings with Him. When something good happens to you, give glory to Him. Open your heart without fear. You know, speak to Him like He is, you know, your friend. He is our friend. Take it beyond recitation of prayers. They are a great starting point, but speak from the heart. Ask for forgiveness of anything you are led to by the Holy Spirit, and ask for God's help, because He will help you, and He does want to help us. As with any relationship, communication is two ways with God. The more you pray, the stronger your relationship will become with God, the one true living God, and you will find yourself having a new desires. I have given you three ways that prayer can help you grow in your relationship and your walk with God and the benefits of that. But I would actually like to go ahead and give you one more bonus tip. Prayer will transform your heart. Through prayer and committing to a daily practice of doing so, you'll find that it's more than just a simple transaction. It is an actual transformation and relationship with where your heart is being transformed, renewed, mold, and healed. It is a practice, and how blessed are we that we can find that precious joy in God's enduring love. I know that we all have a busy life, and there's so many different things that we have to do during the day. We have, you know, animals that we have to watch after. We have family that we need to help take care of. But we should never take for granted that we do have the ability to pray to God as Jesus is our one true mediator and intercessor on our behalf. Jesus Christ died on the cross in payment of our sins that we committed and He died in our place. He became the one mediator and the one that we can go to and He is our friend and He loves us dearly. And the more time that we spend with Him and not take this for granted that we do have that ability to pray to God, the more that we will see our relationship growing with God and we can walk with God. And it'll change the way we are and it can help change our outlook on different things and have a more open heart to help people, not because we think we'll get a reward from it, but because it's the right thing to do. If you have found value in this video today, please give me a boop on the like button and I really appreciate you being here and thank you so much. Okay, if you would like to, you can share with friends. If I've earned your subscription, thank you so much for being here. And uh, I have been thinking of opening a Facebook group where we can all converse with each other. It'll be completely free. So if you will be interested in that, let me know in the comments below. That way we can have a more deeper relationship so you know we can be there to build one another up and uh, thank you so much for your time today and I hope that I've helped you and may the grace of Jesus be with you all always.
Bye. I love you. But God loves you more.